I love shopping at Whole Foods. Um, one of the reasons I love it is because there is a whole list of banned ingredients that Whole Foods does not allow on their shelves. So a lot of the work is just taken out for me that I don't have to do. I don't have to check every single label, which I love. Um, so I love shopping here. I have a strict budget. I stay within it. So I'm here to give you my six best tips for saving money at Whole Foods. So here we go. Tip number one, stock up on staples. I do one big shop per month, replenishing any staples I'm running low on. Ideally, I stock up whenever the item is on sale, and sales usually run in two to three month cycles, so when I see a good sale, I try to get two months worth if I'm able. Some examples of my staples are rice, beans, lentils, oats, dark chocolate for baking, flour, onions, potatoes, cane sugar, frozen berries, and spices. How can you figure out your staples? Well, this is where a little bit of one-time planning comes in. I have five go-to meals for Monday through Friday dinners. Do I always make that for dinner? No way, but I like to have the plan to fall back on and the staples in my house to make it. I do theme nights as my fallback plan, so start with your five favorite meals and pick out the staples in each that you can stock up on. Tip number two, shop frequently. If you're able, and I know this doesn't work for everybody, and also depends on how far you live from Whole Foods, I have found that shopping frequently makes a really big difference in my grocery bill. I try to shop almost every day, actually, usually five days a week. Why, and why does that save money? It saves money because you're never getting anything just in case. You're getting just what you need. You will have all your staples always stocked at home, so all it usually is is a five minute run into the store for fresh produce. Not only does shopping frequently save you money, but who wants to throw food out? My rule, and this is just me because of my track record, I never buy any produce I don't have a plan for in the next 48 hours. I know everyone's budget is different, so let me just share with you so you can see real numbers what my budget is for my family of five. Would I love it to be lower? Yes, but my priority is putting quality ingredients into my family's diet. Also, we don't go out to eat, so this really includes all meals for the month. Another bonus to going frequently, employees will get to know you and it's a nice feeling. Check with your local Whole Foods. Some of them even have programs where you can call your groceries in and just pick it up curbside. Tip number three, shop 365 brand and bulk. Here are some of my favorite 365 products, 250 and under. I love 365 brand. I actually prefer it to some of the name brands. For example, 365 almond milk is my favorite milk. The bulk section is great, especially if you're getting to the end of your monthly budget. For example, in my chili, I use flaxseed meal, but I can't get through that bag fast enough, so I just go and get what I need for my recipe, and it's 28 cents just for that recipe. And if you make water kefir, which I do, and you use dried figs, you can get organic figs. They're 7 cents a piece. That's another cost saver. You should use the salad bar and the bulk section to get ingredients just for the one recipe you are making. Tip number four, go vegetarian often. I know this can be a tough one for meat lovers, but you can lean into it slowly. It is a huge cost saver. Maybe you start with meatless Mondays or decide to go meatless all day and then only have meat with your dinner. Find a way that works for your family to work in more vegetarian meals. Follow me on Instagram. I post only vegetarian meals, so maybe something there will get your taste buds excited. And all the recipes from Instagram are always on my blog, so you can make it yourself. Tip number five, redirect your couponing energy into planning. For the most part, if you're shopping at Whole Foods, it means you really care about what you're putting into your body. The best foods for us are real Whole Foods. These foods don't have a barcode, and most things with no barcode have no coupon. I used to be an avid couponer, but when I shifted to eating mostly whole, real foods, I found my time was better spent planning than couponing. You should, however, use the Whole Foods coupon app, which does sometimes even have a coupon for fresh produce. Also use their in-store coupons. There are also other couponing apps that sometimes have fresh produce rebates. Ultimately though, your energy is better spent on planning out meals and sticking to your budget and stocking up when your staples are on sale. Bring your own bags and produce bags. All of these are 10 cents back each. You made it to my last tip, tip number six, make it yourself.
Healthy ingredients are cheaper than buying prepared healthy meals. Make things from scratch and save big. Make your own tortillas. It's just three ingredients, flour, oil, water. A package of tortillas, especially ones with better ingredients, you'll pay three to four times as much. Make your own muffins, pizza dough, granola bars, bread, salad dressing, all of it. Start slow if that sounds overwhelming. Dedicate one day as baking and making day. Kids love that day. It also has a side benefit of you forcing yourself to slow down and really be present in your food preparation. Do this for stuff like coffee too. You might pay $4 for a non-organic latte. Brew it at home with organic coffee, organic creamer, organic sugar, and save money and have a cleaner version. Spend your saved money on a fun travel mug that makes you excited to sip from it. My favorite 365 brand coffee is Pacific Rim Organic. Well, those are my six best cost-saving tips for shopping at Whole Foods. Everything is a journey, and you'll find different things work for different people and different families. Just pick one new tip to incorporate each week or even each month to get going. Follow me on Instagram and on my blog for more tips, recipes, and Whole Foods fun. Tag me. Show me what tips you're using. Eat well and have fun.